All right, if you clicked on this video, then you wanna know how to make $400 a day day trading in the stock market, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I have a live trade that I'm gonna play for you, and I'm gonna talk about sort of what I was doing for the entry, but more importantly, the strategy doesn't really matter as much as the consistency and the mechanics of the trade management. If you don't have that plan going into the trade, then there's no way that you're gonna be able to be consistent day in and day out in the stock market. So I wanna set this trade up real quick. Let's just talk about it. So if you're at home and you're quarantined or you're working remotely or you have to stay home because the kids are home or whatever your scenario is, I truly believe that you can generate a certain dollar amount each and every day in the markets. And obviously that's not every single day because nobody wins all the time. So you might have days where you lose or maybe you lose one and win one and maybe one day you win two. It's gonna be kind of here and there. Um, not everyone can win every single day, but if you're consistent, you can make those wins count and those losses, they aren't gonna be super huge. And what I mean by that is, you've heard me talk about this a 100 times, it's the reward to risk ratio. My reward to risk ratio is two to one, meaning every time I win, I win two units. Every time I lose, I lose one unit. So with that math, you only have to be right 34% of the time to make money. So let's dive into this. So I wanna set this trade up because I'm just gonna give you a, a little bit of an introduction to the strategy, what I'm playing. The strategy is not gonna matter so much, it's the mechanics I want you to pay attention to. So let's take a peek at this right here. So I'm gonna play this in just a second, but you can see AMD on the 15 minute chart using the Thinkorswim platform was creating sort of a red candle that was fairly big. You can look over here and see the range on it was 25 cents. Now, in the pre-market, a range for AMD on the 15 minute time frame, you know, 25 cents is a decent sized range for this stock. And the reason I know that is because I trade AMD each and every day, and that's typically, you know, typically it puts out small candles in the 10 to 15 cent range. So when you get a larger candle, um, it's a little more interesting. So what I'm doing here is I'm watching this pre-market activity, and I'm kind of looking for highs and lows, and then my plan is to either take the high or take the low, either go long or short into a trade. And on this day in particular, I decided to take the short position. So what I did was I had this order to go short play, placed right below the low of this candle. And when I play this trade, you'll see kind of how this plays out. But the interesting thing to watch on this is I've got a stop loss in place right here and it's 25 cents away. This is my take profit, that's the target, and that's 50 cents away. So it's a two to one reward to risk ratio. Now as long as you stay with those mechanics, your win rate can be very, very low, and you can still be consistently making money. Let's play this real quick, I won't keep you waiting any longer. So, here we go. You can see that I go ahead and I turn on auto send. I like to have auto send on because then I can respond to any strange activities in the trade that happens suddenly. I can flatten the position or get out of the position. Now what happened here, which is kind of crazy, and I still don't fully understand what happened, but the bell opened, and you can see that my order is still not filled. Sometimes there's a delay with Thinkorswim, sometimes the broker will kick it back like it might go active like right now, but that wasn't happening. There's sometimes a delay, but in this case, it was just completely skipped. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, what exactly is going on, is it gonna trigger, is it gonna trigger, is it just a delay? And then I discover it wasn't a delay, and I was gonna, you can see I almost take off the trade because I don't know what's going on. So I decide just to leave it to see if the delay will resolve and it will come through. I threaten to cancel it again. I'm just sort of watching it closely. But it actually creeps back up and triggers me in later. And you'll see this, I'm thinking this trade's going without me, as it's pushing down, which had me you know, super anxious about. I was like, oh no, this is just leaving without me. But then you're gonna see it pop back up here in just a second. And as it does, it's going to hit my stop limit order to trigger me in short. I'm going short 800 shares, and I wanted to take it to the downside. And so I'm just thinking it left me. And we keep moving around, we keep moving around. It's still not triggering, so I'm convinced it's not a delay, but you can see right there, and I'll pause it, and back it up just a tiny bit, but you can see right here, 
it pops up and triggers me in at 83.55. 83.55, funny enough, was the very bottom of my limit, my stop limit order. Your stop limit order is kind of a gap or a little piece of price action. Mine's about five cents wide. This was the extreme end of it because it came from the bottom up. Triggered me in, and then you can see right here all of my fills. You can see it got filled kind of funny, but 800 share fill to the short side. And now I'm thinking, oh, okay, I guess, okay, I'm in. And then from there, I'm just gonna wait and see if it plays out because I'm a two to one all or nothing trader. I'm not gonna kill this trade if it goes against me. I'm not gonna kill it short for profit. I'm not gonna take $100 or $200. I want the full $400 and I'll pause this for a second. So for this trade, I'm risking $200. So if you take that $200 and you divide it by 25 cents, which is the stop loss right here, that will give you 800 shares. So I'm risking 200, but I need to double that. I need the two to one reward to risk ratio. So I'm looking to make $400 here. So I'll keep playing this. All right, so it's playing out. Starts to push down again. It's very tempting to just flatten this position here and get out and think, I'll just take the $300 or whatever. I just want profit. But the key to being consistent every day is whenever you win, you've got to have your full win. And you can see right there, my full win, it just triggered $400. Here was the fill, bought me back uh, 800 shares of AMD at 83.05. So we took it from 83.55, we went short, and then we covered the position at 83.05 for a 50 cent gain, which is twice my stop loss. So that gave me $400, that's a two R winner. A risk unit is an R, and $200 is my R. So every time I win, I have to have 2R because if I lose, I don't want to wipe out all my gains. I only want to wipe out half of my gains. So if I lose the next day, that means I'll remove $200 from this $400 winner. So it's two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one step back. And that's the process for being consistent. So let's review real quick. If you want to make a specific amount of money each day in the markets, you have to have a strategy that you pick out. I recommend backtesting it at least 50 times. Backtesting meaning go back through historical data and see how it would have played out. If your win rate is in the neighborhood of 45 to 50% and you wanna start putting real money behind it, I recommend starting small. I started risking $10 per trade when I started this out and have progressively grown it up to $200 per trade. But whatever you wanna make per day, you gotta know what your risk level is to get to that unit per day. A nice starting spot or a place to just get moving on this is just going two to one ratio, reward to risk ratio, and if you're gonna risk $50, you're gonna make 100. So you could say to yourself, my goal is to try to make $100 per day and then just see what happens and put it in play. Now, typically what I'll tell people is whatever your R unit is, that's a good way to go for per day during the week as far as winning because not every day you're gonna win. So I'm not gonna win 400 every day because I don't win every day. But it is likely that I could go through a whole week and average a $200 winner every day. So you have to kind of think about how much you're gonna be making per day during the week. So if I have three winners, and I, so that means I made $1,200, and then I have two losers, which are 200 each, then that puts me down to $1,000. And that $1,000 divided by five days in the, in the trading week, that would be $200 a day. So I could say, okay, my goal is to make $200 a day. I think I could win three days a week, lose two days a week, and make that $1,000 if your R value is $200. So if you have questions, drop them below. I know this was a different type of video, but I just wanted to give you a few mechanics on how to make a certain number of dollars per day while in quarantine. I hope that helped. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by.